Hi there, it's Debbie Anderson here today from Inner Liberation Healing and I'm here to talk with you about your recovery from narcissistic abuse and today our subject is talking about feeling trapped by a narcissist even after you've left and three simple steps that you can take to free yourself. So uh, let's get started. If you could please subscribe to my channel, comment, um, maybe leave a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. So again, we're going to talk about how you can feel trapped um, in a narcissistic relationship, even if after you've left and um, the steps that can set you free. So even if you're no longer in the relationship with the narcissist, um, you can still feel like you're stuck, but we're never stuck. Um, that's just an illusion. So step one is raise your frequency. And you need to know that no one can control you or anyone if you are in a high vibration. And when you're on a low vibration, you can easily be controlled. And this applies to any situation that you might find yourself in. So when we raise our vibration, the dark entities who have been trying to control us in our consciousness try their best to lower that vibration. This lowering of, vibration, of our vibration can happen out in the world by the globalists trying to control us throughout the entire world or it can be our narcissistic partners and the good thing is people are waking up now and we're becoming aware that we're in a war a spiritual war a war of good and evil that's on this planet and we've all been in a prison of sorts uh, for many thousands of years enslaved by global elitists you might find yourself feeling trapped in an abusive relationship with a narcissist but no, you're never stuck and you're never trapped. This feeling of being trapped is just an illusion in your mind, placed there by your abusive partner. The negative entities trying to control the human race. For so many years, the goal was to completely enslave us. And this is exactly what your narcissistic partner wants to do, enslave you. So raising your vibration means to go within. And this is the way out of anything. What this means is that answers to anything that you want to know are within yourself. They're not outside yourself. You do not seek answers outside yourself because they are often not the truth. And you might find you're disconnected from yourself, however, by using um, things like meditation. It's an easy way to connect with your higher self, your inner being, source, um, and connect with the intelligence of the universe. Uh, one of the best ways that I connect with Source is to listen to high vibrational music, which raises my frequency instantly. Um, I also meditate every day, and this connects me to my heart center, um, which is like your love vibration, which is a very, very powerful force. In fact, one of the most powerful in the world. So you're not a prisoner. Um, in the relationship. You may feel like you are, but your partner doesn't own you and has no right to control or manipulate you. So step two is educate yourself on relationships, healthy relationships and narcissistic relationships so you know the difference. And it's helpful to read articles like, like this one, for example, this uh, video or read uh, on my channel or read on my website um, about narcissism. So slowly people are waking up and you're probably waking up and it's not a quick process it takes time and to discover what a narcissistic relationship is so narcissistic partners don't want us to wake up they want us to stay in the hell that they put us in and why because they feed off our low vibrations they feed off our fear and this feeding off of low vibrations is the same thing that's happening everywhere in the world Unfortunately, we've been gaslighted by our governments, our health agencies, and the dark entities who control them. And this is the same thing with your narcissistic partner. Same. We have had many restrictions and mandates continuously placed upon us, along with so many of us uh, and so many people that have been brainwashed and uh, lied to. And this, this creates fear, which cements the lies. So number three is... We are the co-creator of our lives. The dark entities do not create anything. We are capable of creating. And the fact is, is we are co-creators means we are the powerful ones. The dark entities do not, are not capable of doing this. 
once you wake up and realize how powerful you are, that you are a creator of your own world, that you create what comes to you, you will never again be in a situation of fear and control. You won't, you won't have to live in a, a, a feeling and a prison, so to speak, in your relationship or even in the world. Um, you have the power to change yourself uh, within yourself because you are the co-creator of the, the reality that you live in. So you put a clear intention out and you set it and repeat it often and often and it will, the universe will bring that to you, bring it to fruition. And this is how to free yourself. You free yourself by freeing your mind and believing that you are not trapped, that you are never been trapped. Um, you free yourself by, by educating yourself about narcissists and you free yourself by knowing you, who you really are, who you really are. And if you also raise your vibration up to the level, the, the dark entities can't match that. They can't be on the same frequency as you are. So you're never stuck. You really are never stuck. Um, honestly, it's just an illusion and you're capable of remarkable things because you are a powerful being. Um, you can find websites and forums that can help you uh, understand about narcissism and how to get some support. Uh, my channel and my website, which will be in the links below, can help you. I also wrote a free guide about uh, six steps to recover from narcissistic abuse. And um, I have a new book called, an e-book e called Recover from Narcissistic Abuse. And you can find the links below. I offer one-to-one -one consult consultations to help you develop a blue blueprint for your healing. Most importantly, when you're ready, I can help you heal permanently from your trauma that you've suffered, most likely from narcissistic abuse, and release that from your body and be free. So I healed myself with energy healing, which has completely changed my life and healed me. Um, it's not some airy-fairy stuff. It's based on science, and it's one of the most powerful ways to heal. So I invite you to leave me a message or contact me, and uh, I will help you in um, healing you permanently and finding uh, what you need, some support or guidance. Uh, reach out to me. So until next time, take care.